I am about to document the setting up and testing of my new devices. The HDMI transmission over 100 meters and HDMI splitters. I just came back from the electronics store with some new devices. Most of them are in this bag. HDMI splitters, three of them. HDMI to CAT6 converter, one pair. And a 100 meter CAT6 cable. The CAT6 cable is also known as the Ethernet cable. The three HDMI splitters are for splitting camera signals into multi or other two external monitors. The HDMI over Ethernet is to transmit one of the HDMI signal over 100 meters using Ethernet cable. So now, let's test this first. I will not read what's on the box. Instead, I will open it up. Okay, inside we have a pair. Another one. And underneath. Okay. Power adapters. One. Two. And what's this? Two more cables. Infrared remote control cables, which I don't need. And then there is the instruction manual on this side is Chinese and on the other side is in English user manual so the brand is Amp Audio HDMI over Ethernet transmitter and then the other one again Amp Audio HDMI over Ethernet receiver now let's take a look at the transmitter side. So on one end we have the HDMI in, the infrared transmitter in, 5 volt DC power in. There is a reset button here and on the other side we have the Ethernet out or what they call the UTP out. UTP stands for unshielded twisted pair. And now let's look at the receiver side. And on the receiver end, the Ethernet cable goes into this Ethernet port, or they call it a UTP in port, and it converts to HDMI. So this is the HDMI output, and this is the infrared receiver, the 5 volt DC power in, and a reset button. The Ethernet port here supports both CAT5E and CAT6 cables. So I have a CAT6 cable, we have the transmitter and the transmitter power adapter, we have the receiver and the receiver power adapter. Let's set this up. This 100 meter CAT6 cable is lighter than I imagined. On the transmitter end, let's plug in the AC power supply. Turn it on. Let's plug the power into the transmitter. And the UTP Ethernet cable to the UTP out port. And the HDMI cable from the camera goes into HDMI in. So that's the transmitter end. On the receiver end, I'll plug the Ethernet cable into the UTP in port. And on the other side, I'll plug in the HDMI cable that goes to the external monitor. The 5 volt DC power. Let's plug in the power. Turn it on. There, the receiver end. So, 
we have a camera providing a video output signal via HDMI all the way to the HDMI to Ethernet converter powered by AC 5 volt DC converted to Ethernet signal and goes all the way to 100 meters 100 meters distance into the receiver which then converts it back to HDMI and goes to the external monitor. Is there any lag? Apparently there is no lag at all. Okay, the transmission is real time. Well, almost real time. So I'll leave this on for about an hour. Next, let's test the HDMI splitter. Let's open it up. We have the splitter. That's the Amp Audio 4K times 2K HDMI splitter. Then in the box, we have the power adapter and a user manual. What worries me is its maximum transmission of 8 meters. I am going to test it with my 10 meter HDMI cable. This is a 1 to 2 splitter, which means you have one input that can split to two outputs, output 1 and output 2. And it's powered by DC 5 volt. It also does 3D videos and 4K and 2K videos. Let's plug in the input from the camera and I'll put one to the Samsung monitor using a 5 meter cable. Then on the output 2, we'll connect with the Philips 42 inch TV using a 10 meter HDMI cable. Next, let's plug in the power source. Plug the power source into the AC and turn it on. We will see three green LEDs and a red power indicator. So right here we have the video output source going to two monitors and it works. The 5 meter HDMI cable and the 10 meter HDMI cable. Just in case you are wondering what's inside this unsightly box, it is yet another monitor. So these devices will be in operation at the client's place this coming Tuesday. If you think that I can do anything to improve the system, let me know in the comments below.